Hello everyone, in today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make an angle adjustment PID controller. Let's get started. As usual, I'll have all the code linked in the description in this GitHub repository for your ease of use. Okay, so let's get started. So real quickly, I just made a package called angle PID tutorial and put this um, Java class called drivetrain. So at this point of the tutorials, you should pretty much already know the basics. And if you don't know the basics, go early in the tutorials and watch all of those. And those will give you a very solid foundation for the basics. But um, this one is basically just your standardized like hardware map and things like that. So I'm not gonna go in too much detail, but um, some errors you guys might run into is just make sure that you don't even have to keep this name the same. You can change it to whatever you want. Just make sure when you configure your robot, these are the same. And the most important thing is you must have this code. You must have run without encoders. If you do not have, if you don't even have this line, like completely gone from the code, it won't work. And if you use run with encoders, it won't work. Make sure that you use this function. This function is a function we're gonna be using in the actual PID controller, so make sure you have this. Uh, the move robot, it doesn't really matter. This was just for teleop control, so don't worry about that. Okay, also in the GitHub, you'll find this um, class called PID constants on Java. Basically, um, just you can paste it into here. Uh, these values, I'll tell you how to change them later, but what we have to do right now is config. You see how you'll probably have these two errors if you haven't set this up already. So let's set this up real quick. So basically, you're gonna go to this website, I'll have it linked in the description, and you're gonna follow these steps exactly. Okay, let's go to these steps. So build dependencies.gradle in the repository, add maven, blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, let's just do this. So we're gonna go into here and we're going to go into uh, Gradle scripts. And they said build dependencies.gradle. Uh, build dependencies.gradle. So then we're just going to add this. Oops. go and then um, in the dependency section implementation uh, like this and we can just put this here and we're just gonna click sync now and that should be it okay so if you did everything properly there should no longer be an error with this and it should you know be nice and dandy and if you still have questions about this leave it in the comments below and I'll definitely get answers to you or you can ask the FTC discord which is a great useful resource Okay, so in the GitHub, you're going to search for um, the class uh, static heading and basically you should be able to copy and paste this and you shouldn't really have get any errors. And I'm just going to explain what this code is because if I were to type this out and explain word for word, this tutorial would be like 30 minutes long and I'm trying to keep it under 10. So let's quickly go through this. So here are some very important variables. The reason why it says PID constants.kp is because we're gonna be using the FTC dashboard to actually change these variables while we're running the op mode. And if you kept it as a static variable, then we would have to like change the number and then rerun the code and it takes a really long time. Here we're just gonna initialize the drivetrain so we can use the power function in drivetrain.java and then we're gonna use an elapsed timer and a last error. Um, we're not actually gonna use a timer for this tutorial because we're not gonna use the KI because KI um, isn't actually necessary for this angle adjustment and I um, strongly advise keeping your KI at zero for the whole time you're trying to do this PID angle. And here we're just trying to initialize the IMU and this is initializing with all the parameters and we are going to be using radians. And I know a lot of teams use degrees, but for this example, I am using radians. So keep that in mind. Here, we're gonna use um, this command. This command basically allows it so that FTC dashboard can you know, actually use the telemetry. Um, we're gonna initially our hardware map so we can you know, use the motors and the IMU and all that thing. Here is where you're going to set your reference angle. So let's say you want your robot to stay exactly at zero degrees or maybe 90 degrees. Here's where you're gonna change that value. So we're gonna to have to remember to convert it to radians because we are using radians. So put your degree number in there and that should work. Here, we're going to use um, telemetry and the important part about this telemetry is that we, you have the target IMU angle and the um, current IMU angle. And this I'll explain later on why this is important and how to tune it. 
Um, this is where we get the power, the power calculation for the actual drivetrain itself. And it's using this method, the PID controller, which takes the reference, which is the, um, the targeted angle and the state, which is just the current. And it does this, puts it in this method angle wrap. So what exactly angle wrap is? Well, I explained it here. Okay, so this is what angle wrap basically does. So let's say this is our target and this is our current angle. So instead of taking this super long route to get to the target, what angle wrap is going to do is it's gonna take the shortest and most efficient path. And that's basically what angle wrap does. So I hope that explains it. And then here we just take the power, uploaded it and make sure they do telemetry.update. So hopefully this makes sense and I'll show you how to tune now. Okay, basically what you want to do is just go to the uh, Wi-Fi, connect to your robot Wi-Fi, and then use that link that I'll have linked in the description. So I'm going to give you guys... Okay, so let's run the off mode. So as you can see, roughly... Let's check the board out. Roughly, the blue and red line are relatively close, and you have to, um, the FTC dashboard will do, like, um, like, get, get it as close as possible, but we can check the telemetry. Here it says target IMU is 90 and current IMU is 90.5, which is pretty close. So I'm going to leave another link in the description, um, that has, a, like, tuning methods and how you can fix overshooting, oscillations, and just make sure, um, Great resources is always the FTC dashboard, but you can see that this is pretty functional and we're able to move um, the robot and the robot will recorrect the angle. So this is pretty much the end of our first tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to use your camera to create an open CV pipeline that will be able to detect these red cones. And then in the third and last tutorial, we're going to fuse these two together to create a robot that can track the red cones and calculate the distance between the robot and the red cones. So stay tuned.